Good morning, and welcome to another day of walking in the Spirit. I want to focus this morning on the word seal. Uh, it is clearly uh, very connected to the uh, truth of the Holy Spirit. We have uh, Ephesians 1.13 that says, God set his seal of ownership on us, put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. In 2 Corinthians 1.22, you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. So what is it that brings God's ownership in your life? How and when does he mark you as belonging to him? Who is stamped with this seal? Uh, those who hear the gospel and believe, trusting Christ alone. And from that moment, you are in Christ, marked with God's seal. That obviously is not a visible label. It's God's spirit living in you. I'm wearing a visible label or church name tags. We uh, as staff are supposed to wear these around campus because we have a school here. Uh, we have people who wander in and out, some of whom belong, some of whom don't. And it's helpful to identify ourselves uh, that we, we are uh, um, somebody who can be trusted, somebody who's supposed to be on campus. Uh, sometimes I wear it uh, off campus, uh, forgetting to have it on, and somebody will say, you're John, and uh, I was like, how do you know that? And uh, then I say, ah, I'm wearing this name tag. In biblical times, seals were frequently used, and they're not a name tag. Obviously, they were a blob of wax that uh, or clay that was stuck to a document um, and uh, then impressed with a symbol guaranteeing it was genuine, that it couldn't be tampered with. So a king would, would uh, seal an important document by closing it with some wax, pushing his signet ring uh, into that wax before it hardened. And to mess with that document was to defy the authority of the king. And that's what the Spirit does in the lives of those who believe. He takes up residence in you, sealing you as belonging to God. And the powers of hell can't destroy you because you have the, the stamp of authority of the King of Kings. Your body becomes God's temple, never to be abandoned, and it's sealed until the day of redemption. So maybe doubt or sin or tough circumstances will cloud your understanding of that. Maybe culture is trying to define you differently. Maybe friends or family are causing you to despair. Maybe doubt or false teaching or failure are, are detouring your confidence. Here's how you can walk in the Spirit today. Remember to whom you belong, that the Lord knows those who are His, and you bear His inscription. Ask the Spirit to help you remember your identity and your responsibility as well, to, to live with confident assurance that all God has promised is yours. He will not let you go. Uh, no matter what else you may lose in this life, He will never lose you. Don't let your, your life be run by uh, something other than the one whose name you bear. Uh, you belong to him. You are holy to the Lord. You are stamped for ownership by the King of Kings. The risen Jesus has made you holy to the Lord. So praise God that by his spirit you are sealed.